Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be creating a data link storage on Azure. And to do that, I'm going to be clicking on create a resource. And when I go to click and create a resource, I'm going to be searching for storage account. I have my storage account. I click on it. And when I'm done, I click on storage account. And you're going to have this. And all you need to do is to go to create. I want to create a storage account. And here I'm going to be given a storage account name. So look for a name that's unique. I'm going to be saying, um, let me just say David Demo Storage. Good. And I have a resource group. I'm going to be using this resource group I created for this. And I'm going to say video demo. That's what I created. You can leave it on standard. Most of the times, these are based on your business need. Um, it could be premium. It could also be standard. And the redundancy, I'm going to leave it at Geo Redundant Storage, the GIRS. And after that, I'm going to go to next. On the advanced, this is where everything happens. I'm going to come down and say, I want to enable hierarchical namespace. When you read what is written here, it's a hierarchical namespace complemented by data lake storage endpoint, enables files and directory semantics, accelerate big data analytics workload, and enable access control list. So I'm going to be clicking this, and this is what makes it possible for you to create a data lake storage and two. And when I've clicked that, I'm going to allow everything to be the way it is because I'm fine with it here. I'm just going to go to next. The networking, I'm okay with the settings here. I'm going to go to next. Um, days to retain seven days days to retain deleted container seven days and that seems fine And when you are doing this for your organizations, you're going to have specific requirements Know the data you're going to be loading into the lake What is the size of the data was the volume of the data? These all are going to determine what you used uh, what you use here. I'm going to go to next and I'm okay with this and the tags. I'm okay. I'm just going to go to review and create I've reviewed this it looks good I'm going to go to create so it's going to take a while for it to deploy and not not so long and after the deployment you can now see your data lake storage I can go to resource so let's go to resource um, the deployment has been completed you can see your data lake storage I click on the data lake storage and I see my containers here and if I need to change any other settings, I can come to any of them here and have them changed. So I have my data lake. I've created a container and that container, I called it demo. And you can see that within your container, you can manage the ACL, you can have your shared access token, you can have your access policy, you can have your prop, you can check your properties, and you can see the metadata of the data within your container. And so you could just play around with it. I could also go and upload some data at the moment. I don't have any dummy data I could use for that, but you could upload data. You could connect to your data bricks. You could connect to your data warehouse, your data source, wherever you want this data to come within this place. Just know that one key feature of your data lake is that it's able to have this hierarchical um, data organization, data cataloging within here. And you can also connect your data lake to your purview and you're able to see all of the data it can scan the data within your data lake and the business the organization would have visibility into all of the data that is available thank you i'll catch you in my next video bye